keeping the world turning with Tornos, the second world premiere yes. um, on your stand today. Uh, Bryce, give us a quick overview of the Tornos Swiss DT26. What's unique and, some, and tell me about some of the technological advancements. Yeah, basically the Swiss DT26 uh, started its career at Emo last year as a five axis machine. We have now the six axis version. We have eight more tools with that four more in counter operation and four next to the to the counter spindle and this range of machine is particularly attractive in terms of price it's fully modular so we can add a thread wiring we can add polygon milling we can have a, even a b-axis so it's a plug and play b-axis you can buy a machine without the b-axis and then later on decide to upgrade it and add a, a, the b-axis on it which opens you a really a wide array of possibility with uh, with this machine the machine okay the 26 Six axis is only available as a 26 millimeter machine, but we have a 13 millimeter, a 32, and a 38 millimeter based on the same uh, on the same platform. Great thing, very powerful spindle. Both spindles share the same power, so you don't have to compromise the the counter operation to 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 do heavy operation. You can do everything as you want to program it, and that's really a key. Work with or without guide bush, really uh, an all rounder. So I'm getting from this flexibility and, and, and the ability to make any part. Exactly. I mean, the, whether it's electronic, whether it's medical, even watchmaking would be possible on a 13. Uh, you can do automotive part on the 32 or 38. And that's really, uh, that's basically the machine. If you start your business in the, in the industry, that would be a great choice, actually. Perfect, Bryce. We're going to be reviewing this machine on the MTD CNC channels in, in, in a lot more depth. In, in the weeks and months to come because this is another world premiere from Tornos. Now, Bryce, you're exhibiting some beautiful machines yeah. on your stand. Can you now tell me about the Tornos Swiss Deco 36? Yeah, that's our flagship. Uh, the Swiss Deco 36 is, uh, is, a, little bit of a, is a little bit of a beast. <coughs> Sorry, we are making an orthopedic nail on this one and we have a, a wonderful turret that sits on, uh, on a B-axis. Uh, and basically that's a machine that is really on the on the frontier between the Swiss type and the machining centers and uh, we have up to 56 tool on the on the machine we have Tizis OptiMove which allows you to save power also and optimize the tool path uh, it's it's a great machine we have a lot of power everywhere heavy counter operation um, and the machine can man can manufacture parts uh, up to diameter 42 so basically, you can uh, you can go really big in terms of diameter with uh, with this machine with this new option. We have an hydraulic brake to make sure that the bar stays steady when you start to uh, to uh, to do nasty thing with the B axis. So that's really a brilliant machine. That's our flagship actually, right? Limitless. Limitless. Yeah, that's a little bit the the, the stroke are gigantic, so you can do really parts uh, that are that were not makeable before. We, you, can, you have to imagine that we are making a deep drill of 500 millimeter long on this, uh, on this machine. We did that at the MO last year. So this one is shorter, but it's uh, perfectly feasible on this machine. The stroke of the Z axis of the Z2 is 700 millimeter long. Wow. That's quite unique uh, on the market today. And it comes with the whole peripheral array, so you have really a solution that is able to, to work from day one. Right, absolutely amazing technology Bryce now this is not the only amazing technology that you've got on the stand we also have the Swiss GT26 what's unique about this particular model yeah the GT26 is one of our best seller we have in the range a GT13 GT26 and GT32 uh, this one is equipped with a, with a b-axis a very sturdy machine very strong machine <clears throat> a lot of capability a bigger stroke than a DT and a very attractive price. It's, uh, it's really a, a great machine, a great all-rounder machine uh, to make any kind of part. Here we are making a, a, um, a locking implant over there. Well, it's in brass, but you see that uh, it's quite a complex part already. And uh, we do that right there on the fair. It's, uh, it's a machine that is really uh, that has a lot of, of benefit for the for the user. Six axis, all the uh, all the, the setup is done naturally because we have two time three axis. It's a, it's a great machine to work on. In, in the past, uh, people may have associated this type of technology just with turning 
but that's not the case anymore. You're making prismatic parts oh, yeah. um, and turn parts. Um, there's nothing really that you can, the only limitations really with these machines is the size of bar that you can use. It's indeed the size of the bar and we can even on the, on the GT we have a robot cell so we can actually put a, a cell behind for automation and load blanks so if you don't want to work from, uh, from a bar with a GT we can do that, we can also do that with a DT by the way. So that's, uh, yeah there is no limit and uh, indeed the only limitation is the size of the bar. Now I've spotted um, Tom, one of my colleagues um, yeah. on, a, on, on yet another world premiere on your stand. So I'm going to go and catch up with Tom oh, Bryce sure. and I'm going to come back to you to, to, to review the multi-spindle. Thank you, yeah, excellent. So we're seeing some of the latest technology now from uh, Tornos um, and watch your step, Matt. <laughs> um, but some of this technology is, is just mind-boggling. Now, Tom, this is another world premiere that that Tornos are showcasing today. What, what have you learnt about this machine and what really stands, stands out for you? The footprint of this machine is tiny. So there's no excuse for people to say, I haven't got room for it. And it's just a great little machine, up to 10 mil bar, 100 mil on length. You can get it with a bar feeder. And if you come this way and look inside, you could actually got four tools. You can then add that onto eight tools, which can then be live tooling which plus you've got more tools down here which then you can have as live tooling and the great thing about this machine even though it's so small they've actually thought of the thermo on it as well so all the all the live tooling is oil cooled so and this machine comes with 120 bar of pressure that's going to blow most things away in it so for such a small machine it's great Tom, brilliant technical review, thank you. I really love the accessibility of this machine tool too. Getting into that machine and, and, and setting the machine, phenomenal. And this actually isn't the smallest one either. They do one down to four mil. Unbelievable. It's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. And for such a little lie, for someone who's actually going to be running this, it's so powerful. And the, ac the accessibility of this. So if you're setting apart, you can stand at the front or the side. There's not many machines you can actually get right in to, to look at. One of the so, busiest stands of the day as well, isn't oh, it, today? Yeah, this, this stand is crazy. Every Well, you've seen trying to get through the crowds to the machines. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great stand and it just looks amazing. Tom, thank you. Perfect size for me as well. Oh, I'm gonna it's, go. It's a geo machine, this. <laughs> and it's even got a geo-sized light on top of it. Maybe they need to rename this one, Tom. <laughs> what, the Tornos Geo? <laughs> Right, I'm going to go and catch up now uh, with Bryce on the multi-spindle. This seems to be getting a lot of attention, um, this machine tool. Now, this is perfect for um, efficiency and productivity. Effectively, you've got five machines in one with this particular machine tool type. And the footprint, as you can see, um, for such capabilities, is very small. Here's, here's Bryce here. Now, Bryce, can you tell me about the multi-spindle, multi-Swiss 6 times 16 please? Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of our key multi-spindle uh, product. So it's a six spindle, 16 millimeter machine. Uh, we work with six bar at the, at the same time. So basically the operation are, are made in, uh, in series. So you start with, uh, with feeding and then step by step, you go into the, you will manufacture your parts step by step. You, basically the key of this machine is the productivity, also the surface finish but you are five, at least five times faster with this machine than with a classical Swiss type or a classical lathe. And therefore it's, uh, it's quite interesting also for companies that might not have big volume, but as the market tends to be very tense, there is not a lot of visibility, you can really quickly make, uh, make an order of 500 parts or 1000 parts. And we can enter into the machine, we'll look into that right after, really, you go really deep into the into the machining area and it's pretty easy to make a change over it's not it's not necessarily longer than a, than a swiss type actually it's even sometimes faster to change over a, this multi than a swiss type and thanks to the technology we have we have some hydrostatic bearings in front of the spindle the spindle is always at the, kept at the center by a, by a cushion of oil you can manufacture really hard material and you have an excellent surface finish with this, uh, with this machine. So effectively, Bryce, with this particular model, you can replace five machines in this yes. footprint. So effectively, you, you're becoming a lot more efficient. 
Um, and also power consumption nowadays. Yeah, well, you also divide your power consumption with uh, with this machine. I mean, we uh, instead of five machines, it's minimum five machines. It can be even better. Uh, of course, you have just one machine to uh, to feed with uh, with electricity. And this is uh, nowadays this is uh, quite something I think with the energy crisis. Bryce, it's been an absolute pleasure reviewing the machines on your stand at AMB 2020. Um, so thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you on the booth. You're welcome. Thank you.